<clears throat> I want to answer a comment and tell you a story of something that pertains to it. And this person was asking something that pertains to blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Would you know that if you talk crazy about the Holy Spirit, say things that are not true about the Holy Spirit, you have to know that you are not going to be forgiven of it. So a person was asking me, if you were to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, would you be able to repent? Or would you have the mind to repent? Let me see what that comment said. <laughs> I don't want to say it the wrong way. Okay. If I can still repent, does that mean I have not committed it? Of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Well, let me say this. Back around 2006 or somewhere around there, I knew things of God, but I was enjoying sinning as well. So each day, I would do something sinful. Almost each day. So I would repent <laughs> so many times a day. It was crazy. But I was sinning purposely. Purposely. I would plan things that I would do that was wrong, but I would repent anyways. You see, you can't repent of your sins. Then in your mind, you are planning on doing sinful things that weekend or that day or the next. <clears throat> that is wrong. When you repent, at that moment, you are telling God, hey, I am sorry for everything that I have done. I want to stop sinning. I want to stop. So you are not planning on doing something wrong the next hour or more. Does that make any sense? With me, I was planning <laughs> to do bad things that weekend, that week, that day, so on and so on. So when I would repent, it was not really true repentance because I did not want to do it, but I was constantly doing it anyways and planning on doing it too. Does that make any sense? So I would do this every single day, just about. Next thing you know it, so that happened for maybe, I don't know, months, I guess. The next thing you know it, perhaps one year or six months later passed. And it came to me that I did not repent for like six months. So, you can say that God took it from my mind to repent because I was playing around not really being serious when I would repent. So he took it from my mind. That was so scary because I would repent each day but at the same time I was not serious when I would repent. I would repent because I did not want to go to hell. So I would repent. <laughs> but other than that, I was not serious. And God knew that I was not serious. So he took it from my mind. I believe that for at least six months or more. And it came to me all at one time, like boom. Like, hey, you did not repent for six months. So that was really scary. So to get back to my point of blaspheming the Holy Spirit, 
I believe if you do it the right way, like if you are serious about saying crazy things about the Holy Spirit, saying things that are not true, just trying to push God to curse you, I believe that he would take it from your mind to repent like he did to me for that short time period, which was really scary because <laughs> I was doing so much bad stuff. You see there, you can't play around with God because God knows when you are serious and when you are not serious. So you can't fool God. You can't really fool yourself because you know deep down inside what you are doing is not right. So I really hope you understand this. Don't blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Like I said in my other video, don't speak about the Holy Spirit unless you are teaching other people about Him. Like, if you have anything bad to say about the Holy Spirit, don't say it. It is not worth it. Even if you believe that blah, 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 or the Holy Spirit is doing wrong or whatever else, don't say that. Because <clears throat> it is not going to pay off for you. <laughs> okay, God bless.